Hello guys, welcome to Learning Microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to give a basic introduction to PIC18 F4620 microcontroller. So let's get started. So guys, this is our PIC18 F4620 microcontroller having 40 pins. It's a DIP version. This PIC is also available in the SMD package as well, but I'm going to go with the DIP version. So let's get started with the basic introduction. On the left, we have port A having 8 pins from A0 to A7. Then on the right, we have port B having 8 pins as well from B0 to B7. Then below port A on the left and below port B on the right, we have port C having 8 pins from C0 to C7. And then on the below port C on the left, we have 2 pins of port D. And on the right above and below port C, we have port D, which has total 8 pins from D0 to D7. And then guys, again on the left, we have port E that is above and in between port A. It has four pins, one pin above and three pins in between port A. It has total of four pins. So guys, in short, we have total five ports in PIC18 F4620 microcontroller. Then apart from these ports, we also have two pins left on left side and two pins left on the right side. These are VCC and ground pins. Two are VCC and two are ground. So this brings our pins total up to 40. So this PIC microcontroller has 40 pins. And now on the right, see that we have five ports, port A, B, C, D, and E. First four ports, A, B, C, D have eight pins each, and port E has four pins. This brings the total programmable pins up to 36 pins. And so we get 36 pins in PIC18 F4620 programmable, which we can turn into digital input or output pins as required by our application by using a programming software called Micro C for PIC. So guys, we can use these 36 pins as digital and input and output pins, but we simply cannot use them as 36. These 36 pins are digital input and output pins. We can also perform some special functions with these pins, like analog to digital conversions, external interrupts, UART protocol, I2C interface, SPI interface, etc. But all of the 36 pins does not support these functions. Few of the pins support these functions. So let me show you which pins have which special feature. So let's get started. First of all, I go with the analog to digital conversion. ADC stands for analog to digital converters. PIC18 F462 has 620 has 13 ADC channels. These are A0, A1, A2, A3, A5, E0, E1, E2, B0, B1, B2, B3, B4. You can connect any available ADC output sensor at any of these pin pins and then you can program the microcontroller using Micro C for PIC to do the processing and to display the output etc depending upon your requirement. So we only have 13 pins in PIC18 F4620 microcontroller and the resolution of ADC is 10 bit. Now guys next one is the PWM. PWM stands for pulse width modulation. This technique is very useful especially for controlling the brightness of LED or, or speed control of motors etc or also for generating any type of frequency for any type of application. So guys, we have three pins here for this purpose. That is pin number C1, C2, and B3. So guys, now the next one is I2C port. I2C stands for Inter-Integrated Circuit. Inter-Integrated Circuit is one of the most used communication protocol in the world. Many sensors and modules, not many tons of sensors and modules found in the market work using this port. This port requires only two wires to operate. These are SCL and STA. SCL pin on the PIC is at 18 and SDA is at 23. If you have any I2C module sensor or device, you can simply connect these two wires at pin number 18 and 23. And then you have to do the programming of the PIC 18 F4620 microcontroller using micro receiver PIC. And then here you go. Your sensor will work as programmed. Now guys, next one is also a very famous protocol known as serial parallel interface or SPI port. PIC18 F4620 has only one SPI port and it also has only one I2C port. SPI port has three wires which makes it to work. These are located on the PIC at SDI pin is located at pin number 23. SDO is located at pin number 24. SCL is located at pin number 18. If you buy any sensor module or sometimes there are touch screens or colored screens which require SPI module to operate, then you have to connect these three wires with the PIC and then you have you, you do the programming of the PIC and then you will get the data from the sensor or module or you can send the data to the screen sector depending upon the data sheet provided. 
In this way, guys, SPI protocol is very useful and PIC18 F460 has a very powerful SPI port. Now, guys, the next one is UART port. UART stands for Universal Asynchronous Receiver and Transmitter. PIC18 F4620 has only one UART. UART operates using two wires, TX and RX. This protocol UART is very, very famous and nowadays it is in huge use. M many modern touch screens, modules, sensors, devices, or radio frequency modules, etc., like SC12, all operate using UART because it is very simple to use. And it only requires two pins to operate. The TX pin of the PIC18 F4620 is pin number 25 and RX pin is at 26. Sometimes the module you are using requires the TX to be connected to the RX and RX to be connected to the TX, depending upon the requirement. So guys, this port is very useful and PIC18 F4620 has a many, very powerful UART port which allows borders up to millions. You can set a border at BPS up to million for this port. And guys, now the next one is our external interrupt pins. External interrupts are very, very important, especially when you are using a program in which uh, some, sort of ex some sort of interruption is needed. That a user press certain emergency button, then the whole program should interrupt and, and a sub-program sh should be executed first. But only when that interrupt pin is pressed or that button at the interrupt pin is pressed. In such scenarios, you need external interrupt pins, which are very limited in many microcontroller, but the great thing is PIC18 F4620 has very powerful three external, external interrupt pins. INT0 is located at pin number B0, that is pin number 33. INT1 is located at pin number 34, that is pin number 34. And INT2 is located at pin number B2, that is pin number 35. So B0, B1, and B2, these three pins support three external interrupt. Apart from these guys, we have four timers in this microcontroller. Timers are not a basic thing, but you can initialize internal interrupts or internal timers at any pin depending upon your requirements. So guys, this is it. This was a basic introduction to PIC18 F4620 microcontroller. If you have any question or query, you can ask it in the comment. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you very much for your time and have a nice day.